Greetings YouTube, once again happy Tuesday and welcome back to the abusive relationship known as the worst $50 I spend every month or in this case, hey, I get to spend it twice. I get to spend $100 worth of my money to get three and four stars based off of the hope of pulling the new champion and guillotine 2099, dare I say, is the most hyped champion for a very underwhelming month of new champions, particularly for Man-Thing, which I still don't know why he's called Man-Thing or if he has a Man-Thing, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, here we are. Five shots at six-star guillotine 2099, who a few very skilled summoners already have in their roster. I do want to point out before we begin, because this is the first time we have purchased this offer since I obtained this five-star mutant awakening gem from the five-star awakening gem deal a couple of days ago. And so if I was to pull Namor, that would be quite the roster changing champion as well from this, even though I expect honestly to pull all three and four stars, because that's what happens to me almost every time. So here we go. We're going to claim this daily crystal because this is a friendly PSA that you should always claim your crystals when they are available, particularly daily one, because the more time you wait, the more you have to wait 24 hours after the time you claim it to actually claim your next one. But here we go. Five shots at guillotine 2099, the soul splitter crystal. And I, uh, I don't even know if I want man thing unless it's a five or six star, but even then that'd be kind of kind of funny, maybe kind of sad, if the first time that I opened a six star ever from these early access bundles was a man thing. Now, last time I did dupe and uh, use all the luck probably I have for 2019, I did dupe my uh, Elsa Bloodstone. I really enjoy fighting with her, though Clairvoyant is my favorite champion of the last few months that I've had uh, the privilege and blessed RNG of pulling. So really, I just don't want the gener generic, I get three three stars and two four stars from these. That's normally what happens. At least one five star. And what's up, Magic? And a four star Morning Star. Okay. Could certainly be a worse start. And this is quite fitting for this month as Morning Star is a featured champion in this universe of the month of October. So much, much, much better than a three star, though certainly not. Uh, a five star or six star. If I get one five star, I don't care if it's Groot or Thor Jane Foster or Juggernaut, three pulls I'm used to getting now in the five star crystal. I'll consider it like a C opening because at least I got the 17.5% five star drop rate. But if I don't get a five or six star, this is at best a D, probably closer to an F given the value of uh, three and four stars in 2019 and the price tag. So I am very well familiar with the high volatility gamble that these uh, crystals are. At least I won't have five three stars now but we'd really like to at least see guillotine 2099 in this reel and we are slowing down and we are going to get ourselves well okay you ask and you shall receive it's cool that i get to kind of try her out and she does look very much interesting it's the three star version so will i actually use her in content heck no maybe in the three star arena but, uh, you know, it is the new champion. Technically, I did get the new champion, and I'll have to check out what the drop rates even the three-star are because they're not high uh, in this early access bundle. If I, if I don't get a five-star and I get a featured three-star, is that a win? I say no. I've got to be, you know, pretty open-minded when it comes to the uh, value of three and four stars, and I also want to be responsible when I talk about spending money. And even though it's a new champion and it's cool to get the new champion, it really is not worth $50. So we're looking for a five-star or a six-star. Six-star for the first time ever from these. Five-star, really only the first or second five-star I've opened in like the last 15 of these. And we have ourselves another four-star. All right, well, before we go Team Pop for the win, because uh, we're going to do that in the last crystal, we've got two more. Let's just look at that three-star drop rate real quick. 3%. Okay, so only twice as much of a percent of a six star. Now, if you're telling me, would you rather have a three star guillotine 2099 or any six star whatsoever? I don't care if it's a dupe of my six star, hopefully soon to be beta tested Hulkbuster. Obviously, I'd pull a six star every time, but uh, the drop rates are the drop rates. All right, this will be the last team spin. We've had decent luck in terms of a featured champion and four stars, but no five stars or six stars, which is the norm on this channel for these early light $50 on fire access bundles. 
But who knows, maybe a six-star guillotine 2099 is right around the corner. Just like gambling, since this is the Marvel Casino of Champions, it just takes one crystal to turn your entire day around, and maybe this crystal is it. Maybe I will have to eat my words when it comes to bad luck in these, but we just won't know until this crystal stops and we see the last one. And we have ourselves a three-star of the champions, so that is the opposite of the uh, soliloquy that I just spout out. So here we go. One more shot at six-star guillotine 2099. One more shot for a six-star as a first in these early access bundles for me, period. As a reminder, if you do get great luck, if you want to pop all of them, just submit the video to my channel for the uh, community opening or just send me a screenshot. All right, we're going to count to four because it's my favorite number and it's my lucky number. One, two, three, four, anything but a three star. And it's another four star. So this is slightly better than my average luck, but still common in the sense that I did not open a five or six star. We got the featured three star and three four stars, which amounted to be, you know, with these three max sig four stars, I guess we'll open those to at least have a total accumulative chance for 1,650 five star shards from this $50 bundle. That is obviously still a D minus at best grade given the price tag of $50. But at the same time, we'll pop open. I didn't realize I had six. Pop open these six, see what happens. And uh, yeah, so. We're forming a chance for another five-star pretty soon, but at the same time, YouTube, this is not a good opening for my channel. This is a five-star, six-star list opening. So if you feel the generosity of hitting the pity like button, it is free. I would appreciate it since I just lit $50 on fire. As a reminder, this is the standard normal luck. You will see the luckiest pools on my channel probably next 24 hours, and that will be after the deal is gone for responsibility's sake. But this is what you're going to get if you spend 50 bucks. Most likely just three stars and four stars. Maybe if you're lucky, a featured three or four star champion. But even then, you can't bring them into Act 6. So what are you going to do with them besides Arena? Probably not much. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a great Tuesday.